Okay, I've arrived at last. I'm uh, at Siltmore Lane Sports Ground to watch uh, Brockton v Appleston Town. Brockton founded in 1937, so just over 80 years old now, and nicknamed the Badgers. And what a wonderful ground this is. There's the, uh, the booth. I'm just uh, coming towards the uh, pitch now. And uh, this is an absolutely wonderful football place. This is the pitch is absolutely fantastic. The ground is, the people are. And there you are. Propped in the dugouts over there. And these are all the Adders fans just come back from the pub, I think. The referee's warming up. And uh, I'll just walk round. Hello, Hello, mate. You're right. And uh, okay, I'm at the uh, back of the. What's it? Can I uh, have a better view of them two stands now? On the side I've just been. Eggy doing a bit of goalkeeping. We have Liam Curtin, Joe Obi, Baxter, and Gray on the bench by the looks of it. Young Sammy. Okay, on the opposite side, we've got another football pitch. Yeah, uh, obviously ain't watered that one, <laughs> but uh, nice facility nonetheless. There we go. Back to back dugouts for both pitches. They are fairly close. And uh, those two stands again. And we have the, uh, the dressing rooms there. Players waiting to go out. And uh, next to the dressing rooms, some toilets. And there's a cafe in the corner there. And the bar, which we're going to later, and I'll show you around there. Absolutely fantastic place this is. Okay, and this is the uh, hospitality. And uh, absolutely wonderful room. There's uh, Terry Homer, one of the nicest guys in football. How are you? You all right, Terry? Excellent. Here's the air-conditioned uh, room here at Brockton and uh, what I love about it is it's got the uh, their own local brewery, Real Ale Slaters and it's an absolutely uh, terrific place this is. The, uh, Wilson with the uh, free kick for Brockton. A decent one. Oh, and the beast has to tip it over. Good save from the beast. Here's Jonathan Gould. Brilliant by Jonathan Gould. Can he pay? Oh, he's got in front of him. Here's Jono. Oh, brilliant. Yes, Thompson. No, Quinn. Nort. Yes. Alex Norton has got Hamilton Town's first league goal of the season. Absolutely superb work from Jonathan Gould and uh, Quinn. And it's 1-0 uh, to the Adders. Gives it wide to Jonathan Gould. Quinn, Gould again. Still Gould. Oh, brilliant. Jonathan Gould. It's 2 0 to the others. And oh, there we go with the, well, I'm going to call it the snake. Some call it the worm. But being another, it's got to be the snake. What an absolutely wonderful goal. Okay, we, we got on the edge of the 18 yard box and we're by the penalty spot and the referee thinks that's 10 yards. Well, there you go. It's going to be probably Mitch Thompson with it on his, the free kick for Michonne. Oh, and he's just past the post. He's unlucky. Gets it back. Oh, 
It's it's right to Mitch Thompson. And now it's uh, Nort. Yes, can he make it three? Yes! It's three now to the others. It's Nort's second for the game. Lovely finish. Good play by Mitch Thompson, who broke up play and played Nort's in. Jonathan Gould again. Jonathan Gould, it's brilliant. Oh, it's superb. Gould, still. Oh, it's a good block by Adam Wood in the end. What a run from Jonathan Gould. Here's uh, Jonathan Gould. That's true. Here's Jonathan Gould's done ever so well. And it's a good cross. North Face at tricks. No. Mitch Thompson! Oh, what a finish by Mitch Thompson! It's 4 now to the others. Thompson gets his uh, first goal of the season. And it's a wonderful, wonderful finish. Norts did really well. Jonathan Gould, again, did really well. 4 0. Captain Willow, it's Quinn, he's on side. Oh, and it's just to your side netting. Quinn unlucky. Another lovely Adders move. And that's a lovely ball to Harry Walker Donovan. Harry, oh, it's a great ball to Nort. Oh, he took it on that volley. And he's unlucky. Obi. Oh, brilliant by Obi. Oh, he's unlucky. De Croix turn. <laughs> nice little ball. Uh, oh, it's in. It's now 4 1. I'm not sure who scored, but Beast will be fuming. He desperately wanted that clean sheet. Nice little ball. Uh, oh, it's in. It's now 4 1. I'm not sure who scored, but Beast will be fuming. He desperately wanted that clean sheet. Hey, I'm here with uh, Ivor Green. Ivor, I thought uh, actually Brockton were the better side for the first half an hour than enter Jonathan Gould. Yeah, they, to be fair to them, they worked their socks off. I thought they were fantastic. Um, and they'll do all right for sure. Good energy. They played some good football. They made it hard for us. Um, first day, always tricky. Always tricky. You've just got to be sure that you make sure you don't make mistakes in bad areas and end up chasing the game because uh, that's the last thing you want to be doing. So we kept it solid. They were the better side, but we kept it solid. And then, yeah, you just, uh, you're just looking for somebody to do something special to get you out of it and get you going. And that's what he did. Yeah, and, and also you must be absolutely delighted with Alex Norton. Uh, he hasn't had much of a pre-season. First game back and, and a brace. Absolutely just wonderful. I'm just pleased for him as a person. You know, it's a game of football. It, it, it is a game of football. I know there's a lot of talk now about money and winning leagues and, and God knows what else. It's a game of football and that kid loves the game. Loves the game of football. He's passionate. He gives it everything. Uh, it means something to him. The fact that he stayed with us as long as he has uh, tells you everything you need to know about him as a character. And obviously he was really down. We were really worried that, you know, well, he, he said himself he may not ever play football again. So to come through that um, and then perform like that, I couldn't be happier for him, really, for a personal, you know, just a personal thing. I'm just chuffed a bit for Alex himself. Yeah, uh, Jamie Elks as well, again, I mean, uh, you know, got a start and he was absolutely superb. He's earned it pre-season. The kids, been, I mean, we've got a cracking squad, as people know. You know, there's a few players missing today through injury. Our bench today was... I'd say that was the strongest bench I've carried for, 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 for a long time. But um, young Jamie was outstanding through pre-season and earned the right to play and he proved why today. And, and again, you know, the lads love him to bits. He's a great character. You know, he's, I know he's only 18, but he's a man. He's, you know, he's a great lad. So yeah, I'm chuffed to bits for, for Jamie. Excellent. So on to Wednesday now and uh, uh, Chelmsley Town. It's the same again. They've had a fantastic result today. Uh, so it's going to be an extremely tough game. Steve's done a great job over there. I really like Chelsea and, and Bro great places to go to. You know, good, honest people. You know, everyone knows that they don't carry budgets. You know, they have to work really, really hard to get players there. And they do a great job. Their work rate over there. We have some great games with them, to be fair. They work really hard. So we know how tough it's going to be. But in fairness, you know, we had a real good chat pre-season about the season. And I've never been one for talking about the opposition too much. You've got what you've got. Get on with it. Set yourself up. 
if they're better than you, they'll beat you. It's as simple as that. So we treat every game as a tough game, as a really, really tough game. We said today that these will be tough. They'll have good players, they'll have pace, aggression. Uh, you know, they'll have a bit of everything and you've got to be able to deal with that. But you, you look at yourself, you, you know, you deal with what you've got. And if you play to your strengths and play to, to your best, then you've got a chance. Simple as that. Oliver Green, thank you very much. Cheers, Mark.